morning. So, kitchen makeover. Um, it's Saturday, and last night we had some friends over, didn't we, Liz? Yeah. <laughs> <We're still tired>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of this gaff. Ooh. We were too tired at the end of the night when everyone <laughs> went home. So instead of clearing all this up, we decided to take the Lola's cookies that they brought for us and get in bed. <laughs> it was eight o'clock. Say we were too tired, but <laughs> really. We just wanted to eat the cookies. <laughs> in a long time. I yeah. Say that. Sorry, but that's clean. I washed that up yesterday. What, what's up, Roman? You need my help? Okay. <laughs> so before we start any decorating, let's get this house back in order. Christopher, you've been wiping the same spot for about five minutes now. <laughs> Liz, what are you talking about? You can see your reflection in them countertops. So here's a little before video. Uh, we're gonna take you around and show you what the kitchen is looking like at the moment, pre-decorating, pre-makeover. You can see it's pretty basic. We've been here about a year and a half and it's a new build. We actually haven't done much to it except for destroy the cupboards. Oh my God, look at the state of these. And this is Nala, our Bengal. She's going to get in the way all day. She won't move from this spot. Just testing them out here to see if we like the position before we do anything too permanent. Basically being told what to do here. I do wear the trousers in the relationship, but Liz picks the colour. This was essential for today. It's a stud finder. Um, we found it on Amazon. We'll link it in the description. But when I put things up on the wall before, I've just drilled straight through pipes and woodwork and, and metal. So I saw this really helpful trick on TikTok when you're um, putting a shelf up or like putting something on the wall. Basically, greaseproof paper and I don't think you necessarily need to measure the item, but I'm going to do it just so that we know like whereabouts on the um, wall it'll be going. So pop the thing on and then just cut. I'm going to cut it so I know how long it's going to be on the wall. So then you just pop a hole through where you need to make the line. And then when you pop that on the wall, Instead of having to measure and get tape measures out and stuff, you just know, you just go through those two holes there. Fingers crossed, it works. So with the stud finder, um, it's actually got a spirit level in here as well. So we just need to make sure that the, line, the two holes that we've put are in line. These are screw-in plasterboard raw plugs, come in really handy for today. Out the big boys, not doing it by hand. Oh. The mugs. Just the mugs, yeah? Yeah. Oh, moment of truth. Round two. You done it? Yeah, the hat had to come off. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> oh, I'm chuffed with it. It looks good. Love those shelves. Don't put anything heavy on there. <laughs> <clears throat> so, funny story about this bar. When we moved in, I bought one exactly the same from Ikea. I said, oh babe, this would be good. We can maybe put it on the inside of the door, put some towels on there or hang some stuff. No, it's ugly. So we actually- I never said it was ugly. Did we give it away? Babe, this um, stairs here, easy to install. Was it easy? Don't <laughs> wind me up. <laughs> right, whereabouts? Here? Here? No, not there. Where? About here? 
Yeah. Is that what's going to be on here? Um, my herbs. Are they going to be no, low no, enough for Roman to grab? He's not going to come in the kitchen. Yeah, I think that's about right. Not in line, just slightly off. Right there. Off. Yeah. So now we're just adding the brackets for the utensil holder and this was a lot harder than it actually looks. So I got this and I'm just really not sure, it's from Amazon but it's Assassin Bell um, and I thought it was really cute and I thought me and Chris could leave each other little notes and stuff or if I need to remember something I could just pop it on I bought a chalk pen from Amazon as well. Am Amazon? Amazon as well, um, but the wood is slightly different to the shelves, so I'm just not sure. So we're thinking of the other wall. <laughs> so instead of, because as you can see, it's sort of two different colors. So maybe instead of this wall, we're gonna think about this wall. I think like that it would look quite cute. Let me hold it and then you can back up. So. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Is that cute or is that dead? Yeah. That height? Yeah, I think that's slightly off by the way. Back at it again with the grease proof paper. I've got a couple of herbs that I wanted to put up because um, I'm forever buying you know when you're making something and like you can get the little you can just get the little bags of herbs from Tesco's and they're only like 50p but then these are only like £1.50 and I thought if I would just keep watering them hopefully I can look after them enough this is rosemary she says this but she kills every <laughs> single plant it's true I can keep children had. alive I just can't keep plants alive <laughs> So, I've, but I thought these are the ones I use, like rosemary. I always use rosemary when I'm making like roast potatoes. And um, this is mint, and I love mint tea. And then the other one I've got is basil, and I'm forever using basil. So that's yeah, that's mint. And then thank you. This one's basil. I love basil. I put basil on everything. So they're gonna go like that. That's my little herb garden. Cute. Love that. Next, I've got this pasta. This is pasta not to be eaten. This is pasta for show. What? <laughs> this is pasta for show. <laughs> we, we, we have show pasta. Show pasta. It just looks really nice, doesn't it? It's from, and then this jar is from Ikea. So I'm gonna put this in. So I can't use that pasta. Uh, no, this is just show pasta. Don't eat it. <laughs> so next up, this cute jug. I'll definitely use this, but I will actually use it like it'll be for show as well. That's just from Home Bargains, that's $4.99. It's just what we needed is another jug. Yeah. I was actually thinking the other day, the, the six jugs we have is just oh, yeah, not enough. Oh yeah, yeah. We definitely needed more. Um, this looks a bit random in here. So this is from Amazon and it is one of those, you know, like an old man string vest, but it's like a string bag, but it's for vegetables. And then, so, and I thought that'd be really handy because I don't have that much cover space. Looks like one of your bras. <laughs> so that's going to hang from here. Kitchen roll holder. This was 4 .99 wooden from TK Maxx. And I got this because Christopher, I don't really like having kitchen roll in the house. I don't really like it on the side, but Christopher says, no house is complete unless it's got kitchen roll. It's just easy, it's just needed, you know. Especially, Especially when you've got children, children yeah. yeah. So that would just go on there like that and it's wooden, so it sort of matches. Thank you. So that's got all our veggies in it now and that's just gonna hang from there. I hope the weight, I hope the wall can take it. I don't worry about the wall, it's more about the geezer that put your, your fixings up. That's what you need to worry about. <laughs> it's just all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, just a new colander. This is also another show one. 
It was only like a pound from Home Bargains. I do have one of these, I have two, so but... Hang on, so this is a show one. This is a show one. So I'm not though. allowed to use that either? No, if it fits. No, it doesn't quite fit, does it? Okay, you can use it now. <laughs> this candle I already had, this is a Christmas present from my cousin, but I bought this in Primark. This is £3.50 from Primark. And this is just, I just think this is really cute. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna go, but I'll worry about the label later. Am I allowed to use that candle? Yeah, you can use that candle, but that is gonna cover like that on there just for pretty. Next, chalk pen from Amazon. Bond chalk board. Take that out of the packet. That'll go up there. We'll leave that there. Bamboo straws to go with the whole woody woody vibes. They'll probably just you do know I like a straw, so can I can I use these? Yeah, as long as you wash them properly afterwards. Put them there. And wooden utensils. These are from Home Bargains. These were li like less than two pounds. They'll probably go in there like that. See, cute. Um, chopping boards. These are, were gonna hang. This one, these are both from TK Maxx, $9.99 and $7.99. This stuff we already had, this is a little salt pot with either salt flakes and the egg, they're both from Primark. Uh, these are two more candles. These were from HomeSense or TK Maxx and I'll put those up there as well. So now I'm just gonna have a little play around, see how it goes, put it on the shelves and hopefully it looks nice. So here it is, we've finished the wall now and we're really, really happy with the outcome. Um, a lot of the products here, I've told Christopher he isn't actually allowed to use, they're just there for show, but we are really happy with how it's come out. So now we've finished the lovely wall. I'm actually so impressed with it. It's so nice. So cute. I'm just gonna organize the cupboards a little bit because they're just as they, um, I did this about a year ago, but it needs doing again. So I'm gonna start with this one. So this is, it's just a mess. Like there was some organization to it. And then Roman started eating real food and then Roman started eating a lot of food and I've ended up just shoving things in. So I'm gonna do the cupboard. So I'll switch it around and show you. So it's just a joke. This is it, this is this one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shut it up. And, and I've done. And this is how it's looking now. So the boxes at the top I bought in B&M and then my friend Rosie did some labels for me. Um, this was from Home Bargains, I believe. No, that's actually, that's from Poundland, that. And then the jars, I think they're from the range. This um, step thing is from Home Bargains. These were from Poundland, I think, and the Lazy Susie spinny thing is also home bargains. So yeah, it's a little bit more organized. I mean, it's better than it was. <laughs> also, just a little side note, I'm getting sick and tired of buying sweets and eating sweets that say sour on them and they're just not sour. Sour, boom, mix, not sour. Millions, sour squishies, not sour, do better. And that's it people here's some before and after pictures of the kitchen remember we have linked as many of these products in the description the ones that we could actually remember so if you want to check any of them out head there now and you can you can see where they're from
if there was anything you spotted that you liked and we haven't linked just drop us a message on our instagram that is at cl.raisingroman and yeah hope you like the video and we'll catch you in the next one